look at my day two ending miles and my day three starting miles are the same. And that's at 1500 on the dot. And then I've got 131 miles on the fuel that I have. I still got probably about three quarters of what's left. Uh, so we got plenty to get to Tofty, but not much to get further than that. It's 6.08 in the morning on Sunday, and I have a bit of a tricky escape out of this trail. Because back down that way is the road, and then I have to go up a steep ditch to get out. I've never done anything like that before, so we'll see how it goes. I have to get down and up that, and that angle is probably about 35 or 40 degrees. I mean, the camera obviously is not do it justice, but... This is a trail, by the way. I know it doesn't look like it exactly, but it is. So, I go to take off to get back on the road and all of a sudden I hear a pop. So I get off the bike to see what happened and what do you know the two long straps I used to attach the gas bag to the rest of my luggage. Well I forgot to stow them before I drove away and one of them got caught in the spokes and brake disc of the rear wheel. Yeah not so smart. So I assessed the damage and found that Nothing was bent or broken. Thankfully, I didn't bend any spokes. But as you can see there, and it'll take me a minute to realize it, um, my tail tidy that I used to, well, that I use as the mounting point for those two straps got bent way down and my license plate got a little bent as well. Thankfully, I was able to bend that kind of back into place, but I'll have to really fix it later. So I pulled the bike backwards to unwind the strap. I was thinking at the time, if this is the worst thing that happens to me on this trip in terms of, you know, breakdowns or malfunctions, I'm gonna get away pretty lucky because having a flat or something out there would have just that would have been really awful and I also did have um, a couple extra straps I wouldn't say I didn't bring any spare straps like ones I just brought along that weren't doing anything but I was able to repurpose a couple of the other straps so you see how I'm stowing these that's what I should have done before I got on the bike the first time And here we go for real this time. I was a little nervous at how this was going to go because I'd never ridden on anything quite this steep before. And again, the camera doesn't do any of this justice. It looks like it's flat on the camera. And instead of going where that gravel was, I went up a little bit further where the grass was because there's more grip there and it went up absolutely beautifully like it, it was a piece of cake it was actually harder to get down that slope than it was to get back up it so all I had to do was turn around and load up the bike and then head to Tofty very badly deteriorating. We're in Tofty right now. Um, it looks okay, but it's going to rain and then it's going to clear up a little bit and then it's going to storm. So I still want to be able to accomplish the goal I set out. So it's about 35 miles north to Brule Lake. And then I'm going to take the same route back. I'm going to take basically the fastest route there and back. I don't care about all the fancy roads that are really fun 
It's just about accomplishing the goal, which is the main thing. And then I'm just gonna book it all the way back down to Duluth and then Danbury on 61, doing pavement the whole way, just the fastest way to get back because it's already three hours back to Danbury from here. So that's what I've got to do um, to accomplish the prime directive in this case, which is getting to Brule Lake. So I'm just gonna book it up there and I'll see you then. This is not footage from going up to Brule Lake. As you can see, the weather is far too nice. This is just some footage from the previous day. So let's talk for a minute about something called get there itis or get home itis. It's often used in aviation where the pilot has some un some irrational drive to get to where they're going, whether that be to their destination or home, even though the weather is bad. There they may be um, impaired in some way, like you know, lack of sleep. Basically, all the odds are stacking against them, but for whatever reason, they still have to push forward. Those pilots usually end up crashing and or dying in some glorious, fiery fashion. So to avoid something like that, where I get stuck on unknown roads with bad weather, I just decided to play it safe and get to where I wanted to go, and then go right back to the main roads. If I, would, if I had more time, and if I wasn't doing this solo, I would have much more considered going those back roads and, you know, more dirt roads the fun way. But being that I was alone and, the, you know, the odds were starting to stack up against me, I decided to just play it safe and uh, get there and get back. Well, I made it. This is Brule Lake. This is where I went camping here in the BWCA back in middle school, which was my only time here. So this is what I came for. It's so peaceful here. To my cousins out in Washington, if you remember that time that we went to Colchuck Lake, this is very similar to that, but maybe about 10% less majestic, but nonetheless beautiful. Well, I gotta get going, short and sweet, but the weather is coming in. Well, back to the campsite here in Danbury. Uh, I do apologize for not having much video for this day and a lot of that is simply because it was raining so hard coming down from um, Tofty and well from Tofty to Brule back to Tofty then down to Duluth that all you would have seen was a foggy lens and rain anyway so there wasn't use in filming that um, and then you've you know already kind of seen the route from Duluth slash Superior to Danbury only it was more beautiful yesterday, so that's probably better to watch. Um, so one consolation prize that I'll give for this is to show you how the tires are doing after uh, about 750 miles. These are the fronts. They look, you know, not unused, but barely used. Here's the back. So just a tiny bit of cupping on this tread block, but on the bigger one, almost nothing. It's even wear both sides. Um, and then the inside of both of these two is getting a little bit more flattened on the inside. Um, so, man, these tires really, really performed well. 
yesterday and today. Um, yesterday, I, w I took it a little slower than today. Today, I really pushed my skill um, on gravel and dirt and sand because I really wanted to get up to rule and then back here in the shortest time possible because of the weather. And it's also so close to storm tonight. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, for the sake of the storm, I might just, uh, I might cheat and use a camper. But yeah, I spent, well, it's about one-ish now, a little after one, and I started the day today around six or 6.30, so it's a lot of uh, non-stop biking. I did have one little oopsie with this, but we can fix that when we get home. Otherwise, I just have one more day heading home tomorrow. Let's hope for some better weather, although I haven't checked it yet, so who knows.